Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving your disaster situation playing as Karazza Karak going up against Clan Eshin. We're over the end turn, according to the email. These guys are going to attack over here, and he can't manage to, um, to get a favorable result out of it. So he's given a detailed description of three attempts that he's tried to save this situation. So we'll read that out, and then see if there's either a fourth option, or maybe if one of the options that he's already attempted has some merit. So he says, Hi Legend, I'm currently playing a Karazza Karak campaign on very hard difficulty, and the Skaven endgame crisis hits me. Stinks is showing up with three full stacks, one trash army, and two difficult ones. Let's have a look at those. So, I guess that's the trash army. But it's not complete trash. People underestimate the Eshin units when going up against Eshin, because they've got armor piercing. They're very dangerous, actually. So these ones here, yeah, these are, these are some serious endgame crisis armies there. Look at those rattling guns. Holy moly. Anyway. So, I've tried to play around with the situation, he says in the email. Um, number one, putting one army in ambush dance, so that would be this one here, forcing them to hit the garrison with two armies, minus settlement siege, and winning it. But in response, Snitch ambushes the army outside the settlement with the remnants of those that lost at Nobly Gorge. So, in that situation, he goes into ambush dance, they come in, they can't see him there, they only bring two armies because they're underestimating him, and they attack. This draws him out of ambush dance, easily wins that battle, but doesn't wipe out all of their reinforcements. Then he's out of ambush dance, and then Snitch, with 100% ambush success chance, ambushes with these guys probably coming in in force march. And even though Snitch's army himself is probably not that big of a deal, just being ambushed on its own would probably mean your artillery would get wiped out in that fight. And then these guys here, especially if they're single entities like Brute Horrors, would be able to finish the job, so we don't want that to occur. You really, at playing as a dwarf, you really never want to get ambushed if you can avoid it. And so going in in camp stance there kind of prevents that, semi-prevents it, because Snitch has a 100% ambush success chance usually, which means that the 75% ambush defense chance just means that he's got about a 25 to maybe 40% chance of ambushing. I don't know the exact number, depending on what his skills he's put in. But at level 37, it's pretty safe to assume it's above 100%. So that's the number one attempt. That's, that's a pretty good option, but let's see what else there is. So number two is moving one army away, trying to force them all to attack the garrison. It doesn't work, there's way too much coming in. So basically, you pull, take this army, or maybe this one, Ungrim, and you bring it over here so that all three of them attack Nobly Gorge, but apparently he couldn't win that battle. He does have some defenses here, but yeah, apparently he just couldn't win it. Then number three, let one army stand outside the settlement in a camp stance, close, close to the settlement, big field battle against the three stacks, which I think is the best option. I didn't control large armies. I corner camped and came close to winning the battle, but wasted too much ammo on the first two armies, and therefore the last army was beating me. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Based on what I'm seeing here, I'm thinking we go with option four, okay? Because waiting until the end turn means that they're going to concentrate all three of these forces and, and basically do what option they feel like is best. And giving the, the Skaven the chance to attack is usually detrimental. We've got enough movement to attack them, and if we attack Snitch... This army here doesn't reinforce. This army is in an enforced march stance. So if we attack these two armies here, it doesn't really matter that we don't have the garrison. We don't have to run down the remnants of this force. It just gets wiped out. Then we might... How much movement we have? 34% after that. We might just have enough movement. If Snitch runs back to here, we can attack him so this guy can't run away and maybe order resolve it and to wipe them all out so that there's no chance of them ambushing them over the end turn. Maybe. So I'm going to go with option four, which is attack, 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 attack. Okay, so we've got really good equipment on Ungram Iron Fist here. I don't think I need to make any adjustments. He's got Iron Warden's Tankard, Master Rune of Spory, Snorri Spanglehelm, Master Rune of Spite, and the Master Rune of the Adamant. So really high stats on him. I reckon what we'll do is just send him straight to Snitch and, and duel him. All right, so you've got just enough movement to be able to reinforce. Based on what I'm seeing here with these two armies up against these two, I reckon the order resolve will be pretty bloody close, if not maybe even a win. But the thing is, that's not the only battle, so let's just see how this goes here. Yeah, look at that. Get an order resolve win. However, if we do that, most of our forces are going to end up dead and probably just going to be shredded. And we may not be in good enough shape to take on the other army. So I reckon we need to fight this manually. Now, we could deny enemy reinforcements. 
I'm just wondering if that is the right call, because this army here is obviously significantly better than both of our armies individually, but it would be good to have me set up at the start. However, it would be good to not control large army and just have Ongrim basically wreck them with the Rune of Spite. I think that might actually be the best option. All right, let's see here. He's already got magical attacks, so he doesn't need that. Oh, here's a little trick. So, I've shown you guys this before, but you can actually put banners from other armies into into other armies. So, this, this beast, these banners here, they're attached to Kazador Dragon Slayer, right? But notice how we've still got this one highlighted. So, it's it's a bit it's a bit weird how it works, right? So, if we have a look at this, you notice how the, all of this is grayed out, right? I can't put banners on there. That's because I deselected this army. But this one here is currently selected. Now, if I deselect this, you still got the banners here, and I can't put the banners on anyone, right? So, what you do is select it, select it. They're both selected, so it can go on anyone, and we'll put that on Ungram Iron Fist. That was, that was a bit weird. A bit of a weird way to explain it. So, these ones here. Yeah, that can't go on anything other than artillery, so let's do that. Should we put it on the cannons, maybe? Y yeah, let's go with that, because these ones here are um, less accurate. Okay. All right, and let's see how we go with this. So what I want to do is basically just send Ungram Iron Fist in pretty much by himself. Because what will end up happening, I think, is we'll go in there and fight. We'll do a bit of damage, because we've got the um, Rune of Spite. And after a while, they'll just start charging at us. So Ungrim is not going to get an opportunity to kill the entire army. It'd be great to take out the artillery, but the Eshin units here is going to be very difficult to get our our guys in. Still, we should probably make an attempt to get rid of the artillery. Alright, so Ungrim, we gave him an extra 10 speed with that banner. We'll go set up Nero reinforcements over here. Got some damaged units, I'll put them in the rear. If the enemy come up and attack us through... Oh, we could hide up here. We could hide up here. Interesting. We could hide there. Alright, why don't we just hide here for now. So they don't know where we are. And I'm just going to delay them for the time being. I don't, I don't actually want them coming from there. I just want it to be delayed. Okay, we'll reposition. Let me just see. What about over on this side here? 4 minutes 20. Hmm, the defensive position over here might be alright. Okay, just hide in there for now. I'm sure I'm going to have to use you. But let's just see how we go. Alright, go, go, go. Get some extra speed, go. Alright, you guys need to go take out the Warp Lightning Cannon. We'll just see how much damage we can do with Ungrim on his own. Got to find Snitch and du Duel him. So he's got regen. But yeah, by doing this, they'll spread out their forces when they come looking for us. So that's not a full stack either. I think they had 19 units. We'll still have some of these guys come in because we're only at 16. The Warp Honor is at stake! Come on, Ungram. Move faster. Strike. We've also got this, but we shouldn't use it right now because we don't want them to advance on us just yet. Come on, Ungram. Hurry. We want to be quick with this. God damn. Fucking warp lightning cannons do so much damage. I'm not going to drop bombs on them. Maybe I should, actually. Too bad. But we get around their back so that they... They're snitched. Go, 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 go. Need you to fight him. Don't worry about any of this trash. Just ruin and spite them. So we're trying to make it difficult for them to shoot us, to shoot us by running circles around them. Yeah, we don't want to get shot by them. They would fucking wreck us. That's alright. Okay, fight snitch. Fight snitch. Okay, we've still got 2 minutes 43 before they come in. Come on, if we can just break the Warp Lightning Cannons, that'd be awesome. We haven't taken that much damage yet. Let's it go for Snickerdoodle. Come on, I want him dead. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight. Okay, now he does, good. 
Okay, we've broken the artillery piece. Help escort them off the battlefield. We don't want them rallying. And now I think it's fine for us to do this. Because we've used a missile attack now. Alright, good. We're fighting against him. They're starting to look for us. Alright, we need to hurry up and get over here. This is where we're going to hold our defensive position. They're going to get over here fairly quickly, though. Okay, the artillery... It, did they... They've almost left the battlefield. Snitch is backing off. No, Snitch. I want you to fight Ungram. Because now he's just fighting a whole bunch of trash. Alright, still got some bombs left. Where did that Brood Horror Lord go? Oh, there's Snitch again. Good, good, good. Wants to go in for round two. Fine by me. He can't heal. We can. All right, we need to take out this uh, Storm Vermin unit over here while we're trying to get set up. We need to buy some time for our reinforcements to come in. That being said, we're not going to get... It's, it's just going to be the heroes coming in, and that, that'll actually be good. Good units. Night Runner Slings. Don't worry about your melee defense. Just kill him quicker. We want to take the best ground possible without too many obstructions, so I reckon this spot right here would be best. What we could also do is use up the ammunition on the gyrocopters as quickly as possible, then withdraw them from the battlefield. And take out Snitch. Yeah, now they're advancing. But Ungrim's done a great job. Go on, one more hit, one more hit. You got it. One more hit. Oh, that's how I got in his way. One more hit. Do it. Yes, we got him. All right, Snickerdoodle's down. Snickerdoodle do, motherfucker. All right, you're out of here. All right, how are we going here? We need to make sure this one's out front so it doesn't cause a friendly fire. Reinforcements coming in. Bring him over here. These guys have all got Iron Warden tankers as well. Okay. Ungrim's taking a fair bit of damage, but he, yeah, he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Do we have one more bomb left? Yeah, we got one more. Let's use it, because I think I might try to get these guys off the battlefield. So I try to use up all of their ammo, because, yeah, I want more reinforcements coming in. Now, the reason why I didn't set up over... Actually, yeah, why aren't we setting up over there? Go, 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 go over here. This is so much better. <laughs> go. Oh, no, I see why I didn't, because they're not. A good, they're going to come up through this way and, and flank us, and we're not going to have the high ground if they do that. <laughs> Come on, you really gotta fucking make up your mind. This is a bit a bit late to be repositioning like this. Oh shit, Ungram. What's going on here? I mean he's not gonna break, but still. We still need you for the next fight, Ungram. Oh god, yeah, like I'm like I said before. Fucking hell, these gutter runners. Bloody wreck you. Alright, these guys have arrived. We need them to hold them back as much as possible. Might be best if that one leaves the battlefield. Get, on, get rid of him. That's fine. Alright, and just try to hold them back where we can now. Now remember, we inflict an early army losses, which I want to clarify, because people often get in my case about, um, Oh, what does he mean, early army losses? The battle took for 50 minutes. Early army losses is a term that I use about um, how much enemy balance of power still remains before we inflicted the army loss. Not about how long the battle's actually taken. So, early army losses to me means that there's still loads of enemy forces left, and the game has adjudicated us a win. It's got nothing to do with how much time is actually left on the, on the clock. Because that's not relevant. Unless you're using a timer. Scaven save slingers aren't that big of a... Oh, look at that. They came around the flank here. Out. 
Just goes to show that Ungram Iron Fist is not invincible. He's very strong, but he's not invincible. God damn, their Eshin units are so strong. Shouldn't be having the engineer do all that work on his own. Let's move him back. Oh god, 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 god. No, no I want to try to preserve the army. Get back. Like I said, these guys here dish out so much damage. I think we're recovering reasonably quickly here. Actually, you know what? Pull, pull him out. I think he's done enough. He took out Snitch. That's good enough. So this unit here, let's get that one off the battlefield. So start bringing in more of our reinforcements. Now we still got a really strong army to come in. This was the the trash army, and it you know caused us a little bit of headache. Mm, it's doing a lot of damage with the rune of spite. With that, there's a storm vermin, which I'm actually not worried about. Let's, let's try to get him out of there. I think he's got wounds now, so slow. Now, he said also that he ran out of ammunition, but that was when he was going up against three armies. I think we got enough ammo here to deal with these two. Because, yeah, there's an old motto I've got. Uh, it comes from somewhere. It's not exactly mine. can't remember where it's from. But if you go up against a big problem... You make it a lot easier for yourself by breaking it down into lots of smaller problems. So, if there's four armies or three armies to deal with, try to fight one or two armies at a time. That's why Lightning Strike is so good. Or even why not controlling a large army is so good. Okay, I want Ongrim to go back around over here, because I don't think... Actually, I really don't know. If the if the Rattling Guns decide to shoot at us, that could be a problem. Okay, yeah, you need to leave the battlefield. Start bringing in more Iron Drakes. Still got plenty of ammo. Also, the great thing about this, if we inflict the army, early army losses, this army here should still get wiped out. But... Snitch's army, there's only going to be a little bit left. So the next fight, if it goes according to plan should just be our forces with a tiny little bit of enemies and then a reinforcing army. Maybe we can even auto resolve it, maybe. If we do well enough here. Also, we can restore ammunition with him. We should try to restore it on a unit that has full entities, that way you actually get more ammunition back. Let's bring these back. Alright, I do not think I'm going to use these gyrocopters anymore. Let's get them out of here. <laughs> they're, they're not going to be able to do anything against those rattling guns. In fact... Oh, damn, restrict camera. That would be a pretty good time for this. Yeah, I'd love to get Ungram in there, start cutting them to pieces, but if they decide to shoot, which is not impossible now, sometimes they do it. If they decide to shoot at him... Ugh, he'll be dead straight away. Alright, if we're going to restore ammo, let's get started now, and let's start restoring it on the ones with the most entities. You know what, maybe we should get these three here off the battlefield, just because they're lower entities, and bring in some of the more fresh units. Because the force that's coming in here, I think it's going to be the, the tough part of the battle. We should also send our heroes out, probably including Ongrim when they get in reasonably close. Alright, speed this up. Good, getting some fresher units to come in. Restore some more of that one's ammo. Thing is, by doing this, I'm hurting my balance of power, but only ever so slightly, because these are already damaged units. And I want to make sure... Oh, hang on, there's a lot of artillery in this one. Okay. Okay, well, these are these are good strong units here. Plow through. 
Alright, what of artillery? That's dangerous. Right, I'm sending these two in. Ungram, yeah, you go in behind them. This one, yeah, you go in as well. And we'll no, no, stay here. We want to improve our bounce power by giving ourselves ammunition back. Yeah. Those artillery are a big concern. Alright, you guys, yeah, they've got clear line of sight there. That's good. Could withdraw this one. Alright, go do it. Because, yeah, there's... Doesn't look like our artillery is going to come on for this battle. Because it's going to be do or die with what we're going up against here. So they should be a little bit under full, like a full stack. And we're trying to make sure that we've got a full stack ready. So yeah, they're just trying to get reorganized before... Are they going to attack? I just don't know. But yeah, we can't let these rattling... No, actually, you know what? The rattling guns aren't that big of a concern because they've got the same range as the quarrelers. And honestly, due to these ones having shields, we should be able to defeat them. The poison wind mortars are a concern because they're going to outrange us because I don't have my artillery on the battlefield. Maybe I should be withdrawing enough units to bring my artillery in. That would require me, require me to withdraw quite a few. Maybe I should. So that'll bring the quarrelers in. Given the range of the enemy forces, let's also get rid of the Iron Drakes. Let's try to get the artillery on the battlefield. And let's try to get... Okay, they're not interested in fighting us here. That's good. Let's try to rout their artillery. It feels a bit weird withdrawing full strength units, but I gotta get the artillery up here before it's too late. Maybe we should set up over here. Just because it'll be quicker for them to get set up. Problem is, if they come up over here, that's a problem. The artillery will probably start firing over it this way. Oh, I've still got time to move. Let's go up to the artillery. This playing Skaven music now, so the bounce power is not in our favor. Let's get them off. Good, the Rune of Spite's active. But yeah, if we can take out all these artillery here, that'd be a big difference for us. Now, that still means that two of the artillery aren't going to be on the battlefield. Maybe we should get rid of the guns. I know that seems weird. Maybe I should just get rid of Ungrim. Just keep fighting a little bit longer. And I might withdraw you from the battlefield, because there's not much more you can do to fight. Yeah, so they'll probably start marching fairly soon, at which point withdrawing Ungrim to here so they can get my artillery onto the battlefield, which means we need to get set up over here, I think, because they're going to be coming in pretty late. Bounds of power shifted again. But yeah, I need to get all my artillery on the battlefield so that I can outrange their units. That's it, get that one off the battlefield. Good. Ongrim's doing real well over here, taking out their brood horror like it's nothing. That guy's doing well. That's it, just escort them away. Don't want to be getting bombed by that unit. So yeah, still two more to go. Alright, at least we've got three pieces of artillery. Get them set up over here. And try, I guess, to lure their units up this way. Because if they come up here, that's a big disadvantage for us. And we got no melee infantry, but that shouldn't matter. Because they don't really have any melee infantry either. They got some storm vermin, but... Who cares? <laughs> it's not going to do anything. They're going to get killed when they get close. Okay. That's good. Didn't know you had that. And yeah, they're stuffing around. Again, this is really the, the driving point of why it's so important to be the attacker. The AI is just so much more passive in these scenarios. 
get great equipment. But yeah, if they were just rushing at you and just with all their stacks smashing you, it'd be very difficult to recover from each bout. Look how passive they're being. Always be the attacker. I say it so often. Because yeah, sometimes it's better to attack even if you don't have the, the strength advantage than defend with the strength advantage. Look at this guy here taking on these storm vermin like it's nothing. I'm not sure if these guys... Okay, now they're advancing. Here we go. But yeah, with all their super long range stuff out of the way, it's not going to matter. Forget about the melee infantry. Go after the the poison wind mortars. I think we can deal with the rattling guns easily enough. So they're advancing up this way. Oh, crap. I thought I told you to come up over here. Okay, Ungrim, you can just leave the battlefield now. Need more artillery to come on. But Legend, you took a morale debuff. Oh, we're playing as dwarves. Oh, no. All right, how many more pieces of artillery are left? Just one. All right, this Thane, you may leave the battlefield. You stay on. Actually, don't worry. It's just one, one catapult. I think we're pretty close to the army losses. All right, it does look like they want to bring a few guys up this way. Let's... Wait, do they? I'm not sure. Cannons, you can fire at will whenever you're ready. Good, we got more artillery here, ready to go. Awesome. I reckon we're really close to the army losses here. With really good shape forces. That's exactly what we want to see. So we can make the attack next time, next battle, and just auto resolve it. Hopefully. Felt a bit weird withdrawing on Grim, but he just wasn't going to catch it. There we go, there's the army losses. Awesome! So that went fantastically well for us, I think. Very much minimal damage. Now, if we're not able to launch an attack on the other army, over the end turn, there's a good chance of them ambushing us, so the gamble isn't done yet. Now, Snitch's army still remains, but Snitch himself is gone, so they don't have a 100% ambush success chance anymore. So even if we weren't in camp stance, there's still a possibility of getting through the turn without getting ambushed. Another thing is that if we can't auto resolve the next fight, but do a really good job manually, then it's likely that the remnants of that last remaining force probably won't even attempt an ambush. Because, yeah, we took 22 casualties and Ungrum took half of his health and damage. If we fight another battle manually, we'll get all of that back. Okay, so this army here is gone. Oh, that went a bit further than I would have liked. We're still within range. Now, we want to make sure that we attack this one. Because that one can't run away again, but this one can. Now, this guy can't... Oh, he can't actually participate at all. He's got no movement left. It's probably because of his heroes used up all the movement. I thought I might get some movement in Force March. No. I mean, then again, it had the two rings in this area here. So Ongrim has to go in by himself. Against these two armies. We can't go into encamp stance. Alright, what do we need? So none of those are good against Skaven. That could be good. Let's get this one point, because you can always just respec afterwards. If he doesn't like what I put into. Alright, go for Colossal Strike. I've already got him with really good equipment. Regiments of Renown, right. We've got a fair bit that we can use here. 
Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get away with an auto resolve though. We got a bit of money from from winning. Some slayers make sense with Ungram. Right, let's just get that one. What's what's in this? Let's have a look. A lot of artillery. Single entities should be pretty easy for Ungram to deal with, especially the Hill Pit Abomination. That should not be difficult. They'll probably sit there and wait for us to attack them, because they've got the artillery, we'll be on the attack. This will be nothing, that'll be easy to get rid of. We won't be able to deny enemy reinforcements, not without this one. You just can't show up. Don't have unlimited money. That one's really good for auto resolve, just super tanky unit. Do it. It's also very expensive. That one could be really handy if any of those big monsters get close because it can reduce their missile resistance, but that's it. That's all it can bring in. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay. Well, here's the actual disaster battle for you. All right. Disaster battle at 31 minutes. Ooh, okay. So here's the real fight. All right, well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Thing is, Ungram's got a lot of value in this battle because he can still regenerate to full health, which probably means that his half health here has affected him in order resolve. Look at that, he's still got the banner from the other army. <laughs> he doesn't have that equipped. My god. That means it's possible for you to put the same banner, as long as you've got enough of them, on every single one of the units if you just. Like, bring a lord, equip the banner, and then bring a different lord another time, the banner, and then just move those lords and just disband them or something. You could have all of them with the banner of swiftness. That's nuts. Okay, we should definitely hide to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hide with, with all of these guys. They're not going to come at us at the start. Where's a good defensive position? Over here will give us a bit of cover from their artillery, if they're still in play. But if they run over here, eh, that's not going to be good. We want to be as far away from them as possible. Let's just set up over here. Alright, obviously we've got the advantage at the start here. This is not the best terrain ever, but we'll try to make do. I need my gyrocopters to really try to thin out those forces as they come in. They don't have too many Eshenus. There is a Giselle and a Rattling Gun. Okay. So that one comes in in a minute ten. Just wondering if I should even bother with these. I can't really set these guys up here thinking I could kill them and then run back. We won't have enough time because their forces are a lot faster than ours. Alright, yeah, terrain's not the best. Okay, we'll just make do with what we got. Right, go in there, Algrim, and just thin them out a little bit. You know what, I might actually bring these in and thin them out as well, just because we're probably not going to get a chance to use them much against this army. And these guys here aren't going to do anything to us. Yeah, actually, you know what, Algrim, I want you to run over here and get ready to fight them as soon as they come in. Also, in this battle here, there's no lord that I can kill in order to cause a morale debuff on the enemy. Also, don't have the engineer for the extra ammunition. It's really relying very heavily on Ungram here. Yeah, get rid of the only thing that can fire back at us. I really didn't think that this army here would put up that much of a fight in order resolve. I also thought the other army would be able to arrive. So, Ungrim's had a bit of a chance to heal, but there's nothing in this army that's quite as good at dueling as in the previous one. Yeah, 
would be definitely best to fight this guy here, but he's probably not going to want to fight. Oh, shit. Try to dodge if we can. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm sitting here shooting shit. Alright, that one wants to fight us. Just take it. That's fine. Come on, you can do as much damage as we possibly can with Ungram. Good. Alright, I want these ones to come around over here and try to draw the attention of the artillery. It kind of doesn't look like they're advancing. That's good. Alright, well, if they're not advancing, don't worry too much about that then. Yeah, see, look, all these single entities, the ones that Ongram needs to be fighting, they're not they're not all coming back here. No, he needs his melee defense. Yeah, kill this lord. Alright, at least they're trying to come at us in waves, that's good. If they do that. And with the artillery lagging behind, that's also good. This is why it's so good to be the attacker. Makes the AI fight like idiots. Alright, this... The terrain here isn't fantastic. I'm just going to move a little bit more... Just a little bit further back, actually. Just because this hill here will actually provide them some cover. He's doing okay. This is really good that they didn't come in. Killing that Lord is not going to cause a morale debuff on the enemy. Alright. Now, what's coming in over here should be about equal strength to what we've got here. Roughly. Alright. The... Brood Horror is on the way. We need to spread out a little bit so it doesn't pin multiple units down. This is not going to be good against them. Ongrim is doing fine. Okay, shooting up stuff like Storm Vermin is ideal for them, but watch out for the Gisales there. Look at that. That artillery piece is like, eh, I'm not going to use the artillery. I'm just going to go into melee. That's very silly. That guy doesn't want to fight anymore. Uh, I don't want to fight Storm Vermin. He's playing Skaven music. No, get him out of there. This is, that's a complete waste. I need him over here. So in terms of damage, he's done a bit. I want him to do more, though. Yeah, here's the Gisele shooting at us. Which, we just eat shit in that scenario. Okay, here we go. Yeah, fight that Doom Wheel. Right, Slayers, you go fight the Hell Pit Abomination. Go over there right now. You need to be shooting at infantry. Let's pop it down on this one here. Get rid of that. The Hell Pit Abomination, honestly, isn't that big of a concern. Its melee attack is pretty low. It's really just its anti-large, which we don't really have any, so it's not that big of a concern. Alright, you guys come around the back here. Whereas this one's an anti-infantry. Try to take out the stuff that's going to give us the biggest concern. Yeah, that's it. Get rid of the Brood Horror there. That's looking good. These are a huge concern as well. Alright, don't worry too much about shooting the shit. Go after... The Hill Pit Abomination. Our guys are doing really well so far. So maximum cheats. So they've got bonuses in melee. And I feel like we're doing pretty well here. Yeah, Ungram's done a good job at holding some of their units back. And he's in okay shape. What happened to the enemy lord? We're going to pop around my ass sometime soon. This one's here. Yeah, you need to go after the Storm Vermin. Doesn't matter if the Slayers get wiped out. Regiments of Renown. That's what they're there for. Here, you turn around and bomb in this. Alright, I need to be shooting those Death Glow Bombardiers or else they're in Gisales. I just can't use my gyrocopters. 
Because you don't want these guys getting killed, because then it hurts your balance of power. We need to inflict the army losses as early as possible. Preferably. Also, our guys have got a little bit of cover from that hill. Oh, crap. Hang on. Crap, crap, crap. We got, we got... Big bad coming in this way. Fucking rattling guns. Get rid of the rattling guns. Just can't use these gyrocopters. Pull that back over there, use the flamethrower. Yeah, you guys gotta get rid of that Death Glow Bombardier. These ones should try to help. Like, this one's have to, gotta stay away from the rattling guns and the Gisales. They just shoot them down too easily. Good, that one's going down. That's the enemy lord. Okay, that's gone, good. Pull this guy back. How's this doing? It's okay, it's just Regiment of Renown, it's okay if he gets wiped out. Just do what you can. And they've got the recruitment building in this region. Escort them off the battlefield. See, this is why it's important to spread out your units a little bit, so when they go into melee, it doesn't mess up everyone. Gotta run a Slingers are dangerous when they're in Eshin. Uh, hang on, another dangerous unit. Pin it down, pin it down, pin it down. Ingram's doing just fine. This is also kind of semi-dangerous, but we should take out their damage dealers first. Go after the Warplock Jezail. Actually, go over there, go into melee with them, because your missile attack's nowhere near as high as them, but your melee attack's better than them. Missile attack's nowhere near, whatever. Right, get rid of this. That unit will survive. I feel like things are going okay. This is available again. Let's use our bullets. The guns to try to take out the Lord there. Good, we got the Gisele pinned down. Alright. Ungrim. Yeah, take out the artillery crew. This one here is just being a bloody nuisance. So, that's done a ton of damage to us. Very dangerous, gotta run the slingers. Pin it down. They're doing just fine there. And there's the army losses, cool. Alright, if we've inflicted the army losses on them, I guess the big question here is can we survive the end turn? Because we definitely didn't wipe them out. I guess we'll be, we will be able to recruit another Lord. Uh, sorry, another Regiment of Renown. Try to survive the intern that way. Because there are some units, some other armies that aren't too far away. Yeah, back off from this. Yeah, the Slayers. I think the Slayers were the only ones that got completely wiped out. And that's fine. Ungram also hasn't fully healed yet. Oh, can't catch. Oh, actually, I might be able to... It might not be worth it to catch him, because then they'll just recruit another Lord. But then again, that might reduce their chance of ambushing us, especially considering that's an assassin. Don't need to do that much damage. Let me just see if I can manage it. Because a low-level lord might be better. Like a low-level full-strength lord might be better than a high-level lord that's... No, I'm not going to do that. No, it's not going to work. Alright. Wow, okay. So yeah, just the Slayers got wiped out. They definitely did a good job because they held back the... Uh, the Hell Pit Abomination. Did a ton of damage to them as well. So they did their worth. And that's what the Regiment of Renown is there for. I may actually have enough movement to get close to my other army. Because the further away I can get from the remnants of this army, the less likely the other reinforcements will be able to catch up. That's two out of three of their armies gone already. And what's left? Alright, some of their artillery remains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Even if they ambushed us, it should be fine.
But yeah, not enough movement to catch up to them again. And this one over here, that one pro could probably force march all the way to here. It's not that big. Oh, look at that. Village has slowed it down a little bit. That's good. I could force march behind this army. That might be best. Because this one's in great shape because we barely used it in the previous fight. So if this one here was to ambush here... This army here might be able to take on both of them. Problem is, there's so many missile units here. But they don't have enough to properly attack. Alright, get back to here. Moving. I don't think I need any regiments of renown. Yeah, I can't go into encamp stands. I am the Slayer King. Time for a reckoning. Yeah, you may want alert. You can always respec him if you don't like it. Ah, to die in battle. Relentless is good. Because, yeah, I definitely want him having that speed. What? I am looking forward to the Dwarf rework, for sure. It looks really good so far, from what we've seen of it. Actually, get Relentless. Need speed. Alright, and all we're going to do here... Yeah, see, they can still attack us. It really does depend on what kind of counter-attack happens from over here. I think that these guys are going to back off, giving you some time to recover. That's what I think. So we'll go through the end turn now. And we didn't even we need to fight a defensive battle, hopefully. But we'll see. Because like I said, even if they have the opportunity to ambush you, they won't make the attempt if your balance of power is significantly higher than theirs. Because they can ambush you and still just lose an auto resolve. And they won't make the attempt if that's the case. Alright, speed this up. Hopefully there's nothing else that happens over the end turn, because I'm not paying attention to that. <laughs> so we'll have to just wait and see. Talk then. But I'm uh, that's... Oh, come on, man. Whatever. But it's a scaven of the end game crisis. You're not near pestilence by the look of it. Clan Scar gonna do anything? Doesn't seem. It looks like they got nothing left. Because they would be an end game crisis as well. Skip that. Eshin's strength is lower than you now. No. They didn't make the attack. We kicked their ass too significantly for them to make the attack. They could have ambushed us, but it just. They wouldn't have won anyway. But let's just see if there's anything else that happens over this end turn. So, option four. That was the key. The thing is, a lot of people don't think to do that, especially if you're a dwarf player, because dwarfs usually, you know, will just hold up in our forts and just play it defensive. But especially against the Skaven, when they're using multiple armies, they've got so many ways of just attacking you from different locations and being more aggressive. One of the reasons why we won it so well there is because they barely advanced on us because we were the attacker. So flip the switch on them. Yeah, you got through this turn, no problem, no attacks. And yeah, they just backed off. You had a chance to do some recovery, and if you want to respec... On Grim, all these guys, you've probably got time before they send any forces in. But yeah, you've also got time to uh, replenish your uh, your, re your army here. Just a little bit of time before they send another army in. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one here. I don't think I'm needed any further. This does not look like a disaster campaign. This looks like a pretty healthy campaign, actually. Just that one situation. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.